All right, today we are going to go through setting up a site in the BigCommerce shopping cart application. Hey everyone, it's Chris from OnlineStoreHelp.com and today I'm going to show you how I go about setting up a store using the BigCommerce platform. So as you can see, I have a sandbox account because I've been using BigCommerce for quite a while. In fact, it was one of the first dedicated shopping carts I used probably, oh geez, five or six years ago when BigCommerce first came out. And essentially it was a, a, a fork of their own system that was self-hosted and they, they created a hosted platform. Now they've gone through a few growing pains in the last couple years, mainly because they bought out all the eBay stuff, all the Magento and, and Pro Store stuff. And then they changed around the price and we made it a little bit less popular. And they've even changed it up from an affiliate perspective. They don't pay out any affiliate fees anymore. Um, so a lot of people don't suggest it. I still think it's a great platform. I think the pricing they've done is about fair now. Um, and compared to a lot of other carts, I think it has a lot more out of the box than let's say Shopify and easier to use than let's say 3D Commerce. So when you come over to the pricing page, you can see it starts at $30 a month and it can go up to $200. And essentially what that is, is up to $50,000 a year in revenue, you're paying 30 bucks a month, which is just pretty much dirt cheap, right? And I think it's pretty fair. Once you get past 50,000 in sales, they're gonna move you up to the next level and it has a few extra tools. You know, there's a few ones that are missing in the standard level, which I don't like so much anymore. Um, for example, you don't get the wholesale accounts in the $29.95 like you used to. Uh, you have to move up into the $80 a month. So I had a few customers that this could affect. Uh, but for the most part, you know, you, you go ahead, hit the button, start your free trial, have your name, and it will kind of set everything up. And then what you'll do is you'll actually come in here and log in. And you're coming to the back end here. And it's a pretty simple back end, right? You have your orders, which you're always going to need, your products, your customers, any type of web content, any type of marketing you need to do, and other analytics. Up here, you're gonna have some more of your kind of starting up tools, such as your setup tools, your design tools, um, setting up users, for example, um, and different different things you'll need to get started. Now, one of the first things you wanna make sure you do is that you actually have everything prepared to build your site with. Now, what that means is you don't sign up and then figure out, okay, what my product descriptions are, uh, what are my category and category structures, what is my privacy policy, et cetera. You should have that all done before you even get started. And so what you'll need to do is you'll need to come over to the Star City, and this actually does have a, a starting widget that you'll need to come into as well. Um, and you compare it to a lot of other carts, they have a great walkthrough here. So for example, I'm doing coffee, so I'm gonna do ounces, because everything's in eight and 16 ounces. Length and measurement, you can change around in a factoring dimension for product depth, which means how do you figure out shipping? Um, generic search engine, uh, canonical URLs right here, which tells you where to switch it to. And you can actually buy a SSL certificate from BigCommerce, which means you'll never go off into this uh, My Big Commerce store, you'll actually stay on your ul if you want to so uh, i suggest you go through all of these here and there's several of them actually so down to checkout inventory order notifications um, in this case here uh, they allow you to either get a text message or an email message so if i save that right you can actually tell what phone number to use right go all through that but for the most part I just send an email I don't need to get a text message um, I have to check I think they have a an app that you can download onto your phone as well all right um, gift wrapping gift certificates they have all the stuff which is kind of out of the box so um, you, know, you can come into your profile here right and do your store name so this is going to be coffee company and we are one, two, three, Test Street in Honolulu, Hawaii, nine, 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 nine. 
and this address is a home office because I'm doing let's say drop shipping and 555 1212 let me save that right and so you have that and then what you do in here is hit the design button right and you can actually choose your theme now one thing that BigCommerce gotten really good about is they now have some responsive themes. If you choose one that is not responsive, it's not a big deal. Essentially what's going to happen is you're going to get a mobile site instead. Um, and while responsive is great, if you have a big store, sometimes these mobile stores can actually be a little bit better. So I'm just going to look and see what they have for responsive. And I'm going to look for free because this is just a test store. So I'm going to go to the classic store. I'm going to apply this here. And anytime you do this, it's going to tell you you're losing any customizations that you're doing. And you can back those up if you want to try it later. I don't need to worry about this. This is just a test store. All right. And so if we were to go and look at our store you can see it looks a little bit different now right pretty simple got the phone number up here got the name got the default categories and a builder here so you can come in your style editor right and what I'll allow you to do is you can change things such as changing your store name we can change this to purple if we wanted to we can do the product names as red right and you can see it changes those there we can change the buttons to purple they change into purple and this is this is where i think they've caught up in many respects to Shopify when it comes to ease of use. So J1, I don't know why you would want to do that. Actually, let's put back to Lotto, right? And publish that. And you can see, you can play around with these colors all you want. So if I want to do the footer background is this. And footer bar text is that. Right, you can see we can change that all we want. Um, it's nice. It's, it's a nice nice little bit of how they're doing it. So I'm gonna publish that. You can always reset it if you don't like it. And we can come back into here. You can actually go down if you want to and get really into it. You can add the HTML and CSS. Um, you can download the theme to go ahead and play around with it as well. What I wanna do now is I want to upload a logo image, right? And let's see, so let's upload, let's browse that. Copy site and copy logo and there it is. So let's go ahead and view the store again just to see. And now we have our logo done. As you can see, it's pretty easy. Uh, mobile, uh, we don't need to know, enable the mobile theme because this should be responsive. So let's see here. All right, you can see, yes, it is responsive. So we don't need to worry about doing a mobile theme, right? So that's good, All right? Carousel and social media. So what we can do is we can actually go ahead and uh, build our own carousel here. So let's customize this carousel. And the view image info and. So this is 980 by 450, right? And so we do that because we want to come over here to Canva now. I'm going to create 980 by 450. We're going to design a new one here. And I'm going to add this in. Right. And I'm 
I'm just going to do some text on here. Gourmet coffee roasted and delivered. Right? Change this to white. I'm just going to do something real simple like this. I'm going to download this as an image. There we go. We now have that in here. I'm going to move it forward. see what it looks like right now. Right, so it fits. It fits the brand what we're doing, which is coffee. And this is a horrible banner, but I wanted to be able to show you what goes into it. So let's just go through here. There's more. You can go into your emails, right, and change all these snippets here. This is where I think they fall down compared to some of the other cards because there's just so many of them and it's hard to figure out exactly which ones you actually have to update. Um, Favicon we can add in, which is just this little thing up here. Um, you can go into your header if you want to change things around. You don't need to worry about that on this one. And you can actually go into the various template files. And this becomes useful if you want to add in something like Sumo Me into it. So as you can see, it's easy for you to play around with the look and feel of your site. Uh, is it as easy as, let's say, Shopify? No, I think Shopify is a little bit easier. Uh, significantly easier than things like Magento or OpenCart or or even kind of 3D commerce and core commerce. So uh, that's it for this video. In the next one, I'm gonna show you how to set up our categories and our products. So just a reminder, if you want to see the sheet that I set up um, that goes through my little checklist and notes, um, go over to member.onlinestorehelp.com and sign up for my free portal where you can go ahead and download any of these. So check the link below and go ahead and check it out.